today I'm going to be installing speakers on my truck. It's a 2005 Chevy Silverado 1500 Cat Eye, as you can see. So I did order some DS18 speakers. I've seen a whole bunch of videos on them. They say they're real loud. So I'm going to get those installed and uh, go from there. Let's get started. All right, so before I even get started about the speakers, uh, if you guys follow me or subscribe to my channel, or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. It'll help my channel out. But if you guys follow me or are subscribed to my channel, you guys know that this truck, I bought it on um, Copart. So um, I didn't do much to it besides the HD hood. I got, if you want to see those videos there, I'm going to go to my channel. This truck did not come with speakers in the front. It only has tweeters installed are the original tweeters that came with it so that's why I decided to buy so 6.5 speakers for the front and the 4x6 in the back oh and also I don't have a this is the original stereo alright so I'm going to show you real quick the way I hook it up to this transmitter so normally I'll go to my settings uh, Bluetooth and this thing is called the car kit well let me turn the turn the radio on there you go let me turn it up and I have it set up on channel 1 so that way we know it's connected and then I'll just go to where it says car kit which is the first one it'll say right away if it's connected Uh, it looks like it's already connected, so let me turn it off and so you guys can hear. There we go. I'll turn it back on. I'm gonna click on car kit and it should say connected. Bluetooth connected successfully. So that's how I hook up my Bluetooth to this thing, to the to the stock um, radio. Just have it. I have it set up to channel one. That's you gotta set it up. You can set it up to any channel that's not being used or station that hasn't been used. And you'll get a good signal and then um if you can listen to this uh listen to music on youtube or pandora i'm gonna go to youtube but i'm only gonna play for a little bit because i don't want to get copyrighted so i'm gonna put a little bit of uh on the gas that beats real good but like i said these speakers are garbage so no speakers in the front I do have two speakers in the back so let's click on that nature maids range of sleep products helps you win the night no matter what sometimes keeps you up so for it to be a transmitter sounds pretty good okay. Hopefully you guys can hear the All I got is the rear speakers and the tweeters in the front oh, That's all I can play but I hope you guys can hear it it sounds like it's garbage so I'm gonna get these changed out I said these front ones don't have you can probably see there right there you can see the tweeter up top bottom is empty so I'm gonna get those installed and get started all right so I'm gonna open this box and show you guys what they look like I'm just not opening. I just got them this morning. So. All right, so there's first box. I got a second one right here. I guess they put this in here for 
um, for padding, but. Let's see what we got in here. So you see that right there? Six and a half. 500 watts max, four ohms. A nice sticker. So. Looks pretty decent, man. It feels good. Magnet's pretty heavy. Hopefully that makes a difference. Make it sound good. Um, those, those look pretty straight. I know I've seen a video on YouTube. A guy bought some new ones. And these right here were all crooked. But that one looks pretty good. show you a close up so you guys can see what I got and I'm going to start getting these installed in the front alright so I'm going to start by popping this off Get you, all you got to do is pull back got a little clips in there like that another one on the corner like that and then you just pull straight out like that See that right there? That slides in first and then you clip it in. So get that out the way. Set it up here. Um, you gotta snap these out. You can use a flat screwdriver or one of them plastic tools. I had a plastic tool but I don't know where I left them at so I'm gonna slide that in there. Pry it in there real. Just be careful not to break it. See, all I did was put it in and then pop it out. Got a little clip right there that snaps, snaps right out. And just follow it around. It should pop out. Look like a little clip there. And then you just slide it out. Just like that. That's out. Set it up here. And see what else. I think, yeah, right here, underneath the handle right here, you got a seven millimeter screw. Gotta take that one out, and then underneath the panel, right here, there's another seven millimeter screw. Gotta take those out. like a long screw all right that's out so I'm gonna put this down here And this is the bottom screw. Look like it's a small one. Yeah, it's a little small one. So you won't get them confused. Long one goes on top. The small screw goes on the bottom. As long as you keep them together. Oh. I think you gotta snap this out too. And this uh, switch panel right here too. Got a peep popped out. So. Let me see if I can put this camera down and get this pulled out. 
Hopefully you guys can see. All right, so what I'm doing on this uh, lock, lock right here, I gotta go underneath that little plastic and pull out. Hopefully it doesn't break. So, hope you guys see that. Let me get a close up so you guys can see. So that's in there, right? So all I did was get in through the back and then just pull back towards me just do it slowly don't do it you know don't try to rush it or else you'll break this plastic so came out so when you put it back in this uh lever right here goes right in in the in the slot right here so you know it's in place hopefully you guys can see that it goes right in there so i'm just gonna set it down here and keep moving forward all right so i got all that stuff out i don't know about this i really don't know so i'm gonna try to pull up and see what it does or actually i'm gonna pull out first so i can snap these things off let's see if i can pop this one out Actually, this one's just a little. It's a plastic tab. See if you had a, like a little plastic tool that goes in there, it would be a lot easier. But I got a flat screwdriver. But on this side, that little cap came off. And that one takes a, a T20. It's like a like a five star hex or something like that. But it's a T20. It has to take that little screw out of there that holds the panel. out now that panel should be freely to come out but I gotta pop this one out I have to put the camera down There we go. Now let's see if it comes out. All right, now that I took that one out, there's another seven millimeter screw right here. Got to take that one out too. set this down here all right so now that seven millimeter screw is out all you gotta do is pull up and it should come out just like that just be careful because you got wires hooked up to this uh, control panel right here so I'll just move it back slowly don't rush it
show you all the stuff that's back here you don't have to unplug them all but you don't want to rip them off either so you got to be careful hopefully you guys can see this there's a seven millimeter back here right here and I believe this allows for this control panel to come off out the way so I'm gonna get this one out and see what it does all right guys for this side the little plug right here goes to this light on the door panel that right there so all you do is uh goes right here in this one goes in like that all you got to pull out pull it out and it should come out all right so far on this side all I got to do is I only got unplug this uh, that goes for the tweeter goes right here got this little knob right here you push that in and then you push out you pull out and then it should come out now this wires right here I'm, I don't know how to unplug them yet so let me figure it out and then I'll show you guys what I did only got three of them loose this right here got a little right here all you got to do is push that in and then you got to pull it out and it comes right out easy like real easy same thing with the blue one you got to find where that thing moves in and out and you can see this right here push that in pull out and it comes right out same thing with this one this one right here has the same little tap thing you push in and then you pull out but this bottom one I'm having issues coming out I can't figure that one out so I really don't need this whole panel out I just need at least these three out of there so that way I have more free uh, room to move this panel around so I can get to these uh... it actually looks like it does have a speaker but it doesn't work so I'm gonna somehow move this panel up and use a bungee to hold it in place so it doesn't fall on me and go from there all right so there's no screws on this thing i guess you got this little plastic thing you got to push down and it should come out There she goes. Yeah, this, this speaker ain't no good at all. I already see the problem. So I'll just push right there, push it in. It should come right out. I don't know if you can see. You can see, but there's it's all ripped. There's nothing left in it. It's all ripped. So that's out the question. It's no good. Now we're gonna get a new one in here. I have to cut these wires out and go from there. All right, guys. So I might end up using this little adapter thing that came with the old speaker. Because I don't have uh, screws right now, so for now I'm gonna use this. It comes it, it, it's so old that it just came off, just like that. You can see the speaker is all <laughs> it's gone. It's no good. That's why it wasn't working. So yeah, it's garbage. So I'm gonna use this. Put it over the uh, new one. 
I'm gonna probably take this little. I don't know if I should take this off or not. Uh, I guess it's to protect it, so I might just leave it in there to protect the speaker. So, so it's just, it'll go just like this, same way as the old as the old one. It should be able to snap right in. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut these wires off and install new connections because this won't work on the uh, new speakers. Baby's plugged in. So yeah guys, I'm gonna end up cutting this off. So I'm just gonna cut this off with a blade. So that's it, cut that off, put it back in. Hope you guys got that. Force that in, that should be good. Make sure it doesn't rattle. Or else I'm gonna have to take him off and actually go buy some uh, some screws. Alright, that's only one speaker, so sounds pretty good. I'll put everything back together and I'll do the uh, passenger side. Thanks for watching part one of this video. Part two will be getting uploaded very soon. So please hit that notification bell and subscribe. And I'll see you on part two to this video. Bye.